YouTube, but we are back at it with some more MX Sim. We are on Bunker Hill. It is a brand new track that just dropped. It is for the regionals that's going on for the Loretta's. Um, this track's actually pretty sick. I'll have the link and everything for the track in the description. But yeah, this is for the Loretta, Loretta's. I can't spell. I can't pronounce today, I guess. I've tried this intro like four times. But yeah, this track is for the, the regional. I signed up for it. I signed up for it. I probably won't do it, but I wanted to see where my lap times like stood and it's actually pretty neat. So I'm going to bring up the website. So everything's going through mxslobby.com, mxsimulatorlobby.com. I'll have this in the description so you guys can sign up if you guys want to. Uh, there's an East and West regional. I know I talked about this a tiny bit that I didn't really know the info. So I kind of just looked it up. I looked up all like the backup and stuff and um they just finished up the east regional on muddy creek that's why i kind of did that video now we're doing the west regional they're they're doing the west regional on bunker hill uh this week and it looks like you can sign up for five different classes the open pro sport 250 pro 450 bc 250 bc and super mini which is i'm assuming you have to run through like 125s the cr 125s uh, i'm not don't quote me on that I don't know but so what they do is they take the top 40 out of like qualifying so what you do is you race inside of like the servers that they created and the top times or your top time in that race goes towards the qualifying time and then the top 40 of that goes to the actual race that happens on july 5th at 12 30 a.m it's utc time so i don't know when that is i could probably look that up but I'm not, but it's 1230 UTC and the top 20 from there then goes into the actual, um, like Loretta's uh, Loretta's championship, which is being host July 11th through the 13th. I'm assuming they do like each class on like a different schedule. I would assume, uh, your each day they would do a different class, but that's, uh, that's what I've been talking about in like different videos, like the amateur tracks that I've been writing. It's because of this thing that's going on right here, which is pretty freaking sick. If you ask me uh, that they're doing this, I can't wait for the Loretta's like track to drop. That's going to be fun to play. Definitely make a video on that. But yeah, I signed up, I signed up for 450 bc and 250 nope i signed up for f open c which currently i'm 13th with the 153 that's my best lap that probably will not last let's be real i could probably go faster too but i every time i go faster i just struggle but yeah so this is what i've been referring to if you guys want i'll have everything in the description so definitely check it out sign it up for yourself you have to make an account and link your uid don't ask me how to find your uid i have to ask someone every single time so that's you got to figure that out but definitely look into it sign up for it if you guys want to have some fun with it and um, i'll try to definitely watch i'll definitely try to watch um this stuff going on i believe kazi like i said in yesterday's video or two days ago i think kazi peak my boy briggs is in here yours is in there wash merc everybody's trying to do it so should be fun to watch uh, and hopefully someone maybe like does the streaming too but i'm hoping that i can maybe get um a little bit faster than a 153 i'm just in time trial right now i guess yeah time trial right now and i can't go straight i can't even make it around a turn so how am i supposed to beat a 153 i really do not know but red bud was yesterday did you guys watch it let me know what you guys thought about red bud some crazy things happened. Deegan got his first win. Hunter crashed out second moto. Definitely was not expecting that. So that was definitely interesting. Uh, 450s. Chase was there. Dylan had more pace than Chase, which wasn't surprising since Dylan's been riding constantly and Chase really hasn't been racing. Uh, but Jet, Jet's just Jet. I mean, let's be real. Jet's just probably going to go 22 and 0 if nobody can pick up his pace. It doesn't even look like he's trying either. I swear. Like he's... He's just so calculated around the track that it doesn't look like he's trying, but he's going all out himself. I mean, he's probably pacing himself, but he's going he's going so fast. It looks like he's like just floating around the track. He's like jumping, breaking bumps to breaking bumps, like hitting everything perfect. Uh, I saw a few mistakes in quality, but it, uh, honestly, other than that, I didn't see any mistakes like throughout the race watching it. But what'd you guys think about it? Was it good? Was it? Did you guys have fun? I know a few of you guys. I just reset my lap. Whoops. I know a few of you guys actually went. So I know Larson went. I believe Hubbard went. Um, I believe my boy Davey went also with uh, his cousin, I believe. Uh, so what'd you guys think about it? If you guys went to it, let me know in the comments below. How'd you guys enjoy the race? It was it good. Was a like the fan like sections all fire and stuff like that. I know that Larson said it was awesome. I got to turn this time trial reset button off. Oh God, you guys are going to be upset that my mouse was in there. But anybody watched the World Supercross? Um, we had it up in the Discord when we were watching 
like the actual motocross. I watched like half a second of it. I saw the gates malfunction a couple times. I thought that was kind of funny. There's a GIF in the Discord for that. But did anybody actually watch it? I didn't watch any of the races. I know Blos got a heat race win, and then if I'm not mistaken, he crashed in one of the, like the the motos. I, I don't know if that's accurate, uh, but I know that he crashed. And then Roxon got the overall. I don't, Joey Savacci got third, maybe. If anybody went that it watches my videos, let me know how it was. How was the track? I saw Ken was doing like a kind of like a crazy little jump into like a like a rut before the finish, which was kind of sick. I saw that, but I didn't really watch any of it. I know that it was on YouTube though, which is nice because then you can just watch it on YouTube. Also, why is the first round so early? The second round doesn't happen for like a month and a half. Like, I don't understand that either. I feel like they're starting it too early or maybe their second round's too, like, too late compared to first round. I, I don't know why it's like so far apart. Oh, come on. Don't. Okay, we didn't hit the thing. Then we also watched F1. I'll tell you this, man. I'm kind of exhausted today because I told my boy, I told my boy Mix that I would wake up for F1 and... I don't know why I did that because it was at 6 a.m. for me and I didn't go to bed till 2 a.m. But I woke up and I watched it with like four cups of coffee. We were chilling. The first part of the race was pretty damn good. Second part of the race was pretty damn boring. I'm excited for uh, the next week's race. Supposedly, a lot of upgrades are coming for a couple of different cars. I know Lando did really, really well. I think he got P4 with the penalties that were given out. Um, they were just giving out penalties left and right. I swear they didn't even take an account like Lando going off the track every lap. But hey, you got to do what you got to do, man. You got to do what you got to do. But no, overall, I thought it was a I thought it was a good race. I really did. I'm glad I woke up for it. I enjoy watching that stuff. I really do enjoy watching F1. I think it's I think it's a lot of fun to watch, especially when like there's actual battles going on when there's not battles and it's just like a, a DRS zone. It's kind of boring. Like Canada was kind of boring, but when there's actually battles going on, it's pretty damn fun. And then we just posted a brand new plays video. You guys better go freaking watch that right now because it is one of the most devastating videos ever. I swear I suck at only up. I got so far and the game glitched me, dude. I can't believe that the game did that to me. I really can't believe that because it was, I was going so good. Actually, I really wasn't. The first like 30 minutes of me recording, I, I gave up. I literally gave up and I said, no, we're not doing that. I, I turned on the recording again for another 30 minutes, got even farther than I ever have. And then I fell all the way back down to the bottom. I'm not even kidding you. I just said, all right, that's it. But it's it, the video is good. So definitely go watch it. Leave a like on it. I really would appreciate that for real. Now let's see. Let's see if we can get a haul up here. I know people are like jumping that. I, I want to beat a 153. I don't know if I can though. Let's see if we can do it though. We're going to cruise around here. Oh my god, I almost died. Almost died again. I know that's not fast. Don't judge. I had a problem with this section right here, going over this. I would always, like, jackknife and kind of die. I also very slow through these ruts. Not even slow at this point. I just suck. This is going to be a 150. Watch. Trust. You got to trust the process, you know? It's not going to be a 150. Don't judge. All right, reset. Oh, th oh, this is a burner. This is a burner right here. Don't hit the tough block. Oh, a little too... A little too far. Fuck, rip. This is it right here. This is it. I gotta take it slow, Josh. Take it slow. You're gonna beat a 153 easily right here. You just gotta hit every single corner perfect. At least perfect for you. And we can do it. I believe. Trust the process. That was better. I, I missed the rut. Uh, dude, I'm so terrified to go in these ruts. I'm literally terrified to like rail the ruts for some odd reason. I don't know. And I know you guys want me to freaking stand up through the... Dude, I don't understand why it's so much better. I, I, like, I really don't. I swear. I know I got to do it. But I was racing this earlier and I was sitting down through the ruts and I felt so comfortable. I felt so, so comfortable. So we're going to... I think I'm just going to sit and find my, find my speed through there. You know what I'm saying? 
Since we're trying to do it like fun, it don't really matter what we do, right? I mean, look at that. I know it's probably not fast, but... Oh, no, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. No, stay alive. Okay, we're fine, we're fine. That's my ghost right there. You see that? Obviously, because we're in time trial, but I failed and I just waited. Oh, crap. I'm so terrified to go on top of the ruts as well. I'm literally so terrified to do that. I feel like my front tires are going to wash out. And that's just me playing first person so much. And that's just death. Oh my god. That's just me playing first person too much on like bikes. I don't really play third. So like I'm terrified to go like on the top of the ruts. And like hopefully my bike stays there. That's just got to. That's just like the trust, trust element in this game that you got to get to. Oh, I'm dead. I'm done. I, that's what's what's ha that's what's happening to me every single time I try to like go too far into that. I got to slow down a little bit. All right, can we just get a lap? Holy crap! All right, this is it. This is a burner. I'm not even gonna take the ruts. We're gonna go outside. Oh, stay alive. I know these ruts are fast, though. I gotta take this. Look at that, man. I'm so good. I'm so good at this game. See, I was sitting down in all three of those corners, and I felt comfortable. Oh, crap. This is the corner I'm like, don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go outside there or like tuck to the inside like that. I really don't know. And I always feel like this right here, I'm going to over jump. I always slow up. I don't feel like over jumping that. No, come on, stay alive, stay alive. That was just me being stupid and not having enough momentum. See how I'm like twitching because I don't want to go on top of the rut when I should. Like, I know that's, like, the play, but, man, that's so terrifying when you don't do it. I just got to get used to the game. I'm so slow. Holy crap. Throw a whip. Woo! A little cross action right here. All right, 150. Hey, that's the same time we ran in the race, man. We'll take a 153. Now can we beat it? We're already on pace to beat it. All right, here we go. This is the only time I'm doing this. If I crash, I crash. The video's over. Let's see. Hey, let's actually see what's faster, inside or outside. I mean, outside's a little bit quicker, I guess. Let's see what it, inside or outside. Oh, rip. See how I'm so terrified. I'm so terrified to do that. Oh, 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 oh. We haven't crashed. We haven't crashed. We still can beat the guy. We just have to go full speed. That was kind of quick. I gotta add some more style to my. To my oh shit! I'm dead. All right, video's over. <laughs> that was that wasn't even good. But yo, I appreciate all the love on the sim videos, man. If you guys haven't already, go check out the freaking ELM race. The first two minutes of that video was hysterical, like hyster. It was so freaking funny. So definitely go check out that video. Go check out the only up video that we just posted. It is live right now. So go definitely check that out. Be on the lookout for tomorrow's video. Uh, much love, guys. Stay safe. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. I'm out. Peace.